therefore declined. I call on Government Order of the Day number one. Appropriation 2017-18 Estimates Bill, Committee Stage Continued. I declare the House in Committee for further consideration of the Appropriation 2017-18 Estimates Bill. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Members of the House and Committee for further consideration of the Appropriation 2017-18 Estimates Bill. There are seven hours and two minutes remaining in the debate. When we were last considering the bill, the Committee was debating the votes in external sector in the Estimates debate. Reno Titakatani <coughs> had the call and has three minutes, 55 seconds remaining, if he so wishes. Thank you, Mr Chair. Reno Titakatani. Oh, thank you, Mr Chair. And just continuing on with my contribution uh, regarding vote customs. Now, sir, uh, the New Zealand Customs Service, one of its key roles is to protect our borders and to keep our community and our country safe uh, from, from uh, illicit drugs and, uh, and other uh, harmful materials, sir. And, uh, you know, to its credit, the Customs Service... Um, Last year, they did. They seized 292 kilograms of methamphetamine they, uh, and 1.1 uh, tonnes of precursor were seized uh, by the Customs Service. So they, were, uh, they are uh, doing a, credit, a good job in that area. If you look uh, at the wider picture, though, sir, um, there is a pea epidemic in our country. It is seen through the uh, countless cases of uh, addictions and uh, damaged families, damaged individuals wreaking havoc up and down the country. So much so, sir, that my whanaunga, uh, Penny Henare, said that uh, up in Te Tai Tokero, Kaitaia has now got the name Kai Fryer, due to the um, amount of pea that is flooding that community uh, and, and, and promoting the illicit black market. Now, sir, uh, when asked uh, about this very question about how much uh, P or its precursor are actually crossing by the border, i.e. customs is missing at the border, I posed that question to the Comptroller and her, and her vast team of lawyers and policies and senior managers and the lot. And, sir, I was absolutely aghast at the answer because they couldn't give an answer, sir. They didn't, I, and all as I asked, sir, was an estimate, an estimate of how much P, how much dr drugs uh, are they missing at the border? And they all looked at each other and they couldn't come up with an answer and they say, oh, because it's impossible for us to know. Well, sir, we know that there is an absolute proliferation of P uh, through our health system, through the police. Um, the P addictions is the number one reason why um, uh, our parents uh, can no longer look after their children and uh, are going to their grandparents. It is a huge problem in our, across our society and it's been... So we're only getting half the picture from the Customs Service. It's great for them to try and um, laud how great they are with what they're intercepting at the border, but it's really what they're missing, sir. That's what's really... Um, what, what counts when it comes to estimates. We're dealing with an estimates bill, sir, and they can't even estimate the amount of drugs and P and precursor that they miss. And I think that's an indictment on the Customs Service. But, sir, it's no surprise, really, because under this government, they're all about making the numbers look good. They're all about um, giving half the story. And it's great for them to say, oh, yes, but we intercepted X amount at the border. It's going up every year. But we can't estimate, actually, what is out there in society at the moment, even though we know that there's a flood. There is a flood of pee coming across the border. So much so, it's been called the quiet tsunami. And so, but that is why this government is failing, sir. We've had nine long years of them giving uh, doctored numbers, giving us half the story, whether it's in the health system, whether it's in employment figures, 
whether it's in um, the P numbers themselves, sir. We are um, being disserved by this, uh, by this government, they are, and we need to have a change because That's we know that enough. we want to get the full picture. Order. In this debate, when you get the bell, you sit down, oh. or you seek another call. I'll just remind members that um, this debate, we're debating the report, so, um, so members should limit them. Well, I'm actually speaking at the moment, so you'll have to wait. Um, so during the course of this debate, we are debating the report. So if members want to wax lyrical and jump into a campaign speech, they'll be pulled up, as other speakers have, um, and members are reminded that this is a debate on the report. Point of order, Reynold Tadakar. Uh, sir, I just want to draw your attention that um, the, the, the timer in the House is all over the place. And uh, so if I could, you know, if you could send a message to your clerks well, that... Um, by, by way of explanation, the timer was going up because you were told you had three minutes and 55 seconds, and it's easier to calculate if we set the timer from zero going up. So when it hits 3.55, we can push a button and make you sit down albeit it hasn't been that effective in doing that. Um, and now you'll notice that the timer will start from five and count down to zero. The Honourable Jerry Browning. Well, that three minutes...